Welcome to another Tiny Tidy Tuesday. This week I am going to be getting a couple of things out of this closet and into somewhere a little bit more, I don't know, appropriate, out of the way, I don't know. Anyways, it's this blue trunk that is normally covered with four or five gallon jugs of water that I shouldn't be lifting because, yeah, I'm not that strong. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Tiny Tidy Tuesday, an open playlist collab run by Sunday Dawn over at The Helpful Home. Stop by and check out the playlists. So while the kids are out getting water refills, I am going to try and get into this trunk um, that apparently got shut. And this isn't the right key, but it worked. Um, <laughs> and try to put the what I thought was oil painting stuff out of that box and the I don't even know what they were um it's like pseudo charcoal stuff I guess you could say um definitely art supply stuff but let's just go there art supplies into this trunk of what I thought was all art supplies and as it turned out it's not all art supplies um what I'm leafing through right now is actually um, like some inspiration type stuff. When I was in high school, everything we did was photorealistic and we worked a lot out of like magazine photos and things. So anyway, I'm going to get that stuff done while my kids are out getting water because we go through about four or five gallon jugs a month, I think, somewhere in there. And I have found that if I send my kids together and I don't go somehow it costs about half as much so anyway while they're out doing that I took the uh, opportunity to get this tiny tidy done because I didn't really want to wait another month so that being said I also wanted to tell you guys what my plans are in terms of housekeeping because one of the things that I wanted to kind of work on this year was coming up with some sort of a routine or system for cleaning. Um, I've decluttered to the point that I'm finally starting to think about, okay, how can I keep the house clean and tidy and picked up, I guess you could say, <laughs> on a regular basis. I went a lot of years without even vacuum. I want a lot of years where you couldn't really see the floor to vacuum, okay? Um, and I'm not at that point anymore. So I'm trying to figure out this whole cleaning thing because even though I did chores as a kid, I didn't really learn how to put it all together to get a clean house. Like, I know how to do laundry. And I know I dusted as a chore. Probably why I have such an aversion to dusting these days. Um... <laughs> But I would like to have a generally clean home most of the time. My kids are at that stage where other than dishes and rooms and things, it's not like there's toys in the floor all the time. My kids are, you know, almost grown. We should be able to keep the house clean. <laughs> so when we did the Q&A for... The Tiny Tidy Tuesday birthday anniversary. I don't know how you say that. It was 52 weeks of when they started the Tiny Tidy Tuesdays. Um, something got said that kind of flipped a switch in my brain in terms of how I thought about Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Okay. Now, I had thought of it as like, okay, Little decluttering projects here and there, just so you're making some progress somehow and not completely just kind of spacing it, I guess. Like, I knew that people clean in their Tidy Tidy Tuesdays every week. I, I, I mentally, like, you know, I know that. It hadn't, like, I don't know. It hadn't made sense in my brain to some point, I guess. And so, as I was watching that playlist, I was thinking about 
how Sunday had said that her grandma Margie always had a fairly clean house. And she was always doing a little something here or there, but like she never had a cleaning day. Now, I've tried cleaning days and generally I overdo it every single time. I've tried doing stuff every day and that also tends to be a little bit of a struggle most of the time. Not for any particular reason other than my body doesn't really, I don't want to say stamina because I still have energy, but like I will start having stability issues is probably the biggest for me. Like if I'm trying to cook, a lot of times I will wind up sitting down at some point while I'm cooking. If I am trying to do dishes, when I started working on this project, um, I was able to do five minutes a day on dishes. Anything past that, I'm feeling hips kind of like sliding around, my neck's sort of doing wonky things. Um, I'd start getting dizzy and need to lay down. And I think I told you guys about the the video I watched where, like, if you don't do your max when you try and do something, if you do just less than that, you can get to the point where your body recovers better, quicker, and so then maybe that five minutes turns into two five-minute sessions a day. And at this point, I'm up to three or four sessions on dishes a day, and those sessions are five, ten, fifteen minutes a day. Fifteen still pushing it. <laughs> But what I have found is that if I can get things worked in, I am much better off keeping things going. And there's actually hope that I could do that. So what I've landed on in terms of this whole idea of routines and how to manage a household is... I'm going to try and work my way up to doing the daily stuff from Dana K. White. So if you guys aren't familiar with Dana, she is absolutely fantabulous. Um, she has written a couple of books, How to Manage Your Home Without Losing Your Mind and Decluttering at the Speed of Life. She often works with Dawn from The Minimal Mom and Cass from Clutterbug but she's, oh, and she, I think her website is a slob comes clean. Her channel is Dana K. White. Anyway, she is definitely the one that kind of speaks to me in terms of she started where I was at when I started. Maybe not quite when I started watching her, but <laughs> I, I had improved some over the years. Some, not a lot. So anyway, um, she has four daily tasks that she suggests doing. Dishes is the first one. Sweeping the kitchen is the second. Checking the bathrooms for clutter is the third. And a five minute... Hi. And um, a five minute pickup is the fourth. So what my plan is... Every month for a while, I'm going to try and add one of those things on to my routines. Get the dishes caught up. And right now I'm a little over a month in on that project. <laughs> um, but then next month, I'll be caught up and I'll start working on sweeping. Now, her concept with this is if you're sweeping, you have to pay attention to the floor and stuff gets picked up off the floor which makes a lot of sense for me. But then I'm going to throw in two or three tiny tidies a week. One decluttering, one cleaning, and one vacuuming. Vacuuming I can do in about 15 minutes. And then whatever the next pressing cleaning project is. And if I'm decluttering on a regular basis, it's not going to get to the point I have huge projects to do. You know, 
it'll keep up and it will be that habitual progress thing I am aiming for with my word this year. So with that, have a great week, y'all.